In the U.S., drones are seen as a fast and cheap solution for Amazon and Google to deliver packages. But in Japan, they're part of an answer to a much bigger problem: the rapidly aging population. Little known outside the country, drones have played a big role on Japanese farms since the 1980s, when the motorcycle maker Yamaha Motor developed unmanned helicopters for spraying pesticides on rice fields. Today, their use has become so widespread that about one in three bowls of rice consumed by Japanese households has been air sprayed with agricultural chemicals using Yamaha drones. More recently, the unmanned aircraft, which is big enough to take tanks of fertilizers and pesticides, is also used for sowing iron-coated seeded rice directly into paddy fields. This is a new method that eliminates the need for growing rice seedlings and later transplanting them to a rice paddy, and it helps to ease the back-breaking workload for Japan's increasingly elderly rice farmers. One regular user of Yamaha's latest drone, the Phaser, is Yasuyoshi Kasama, a 36-year-old rice farmer from Tochigi, central Japan. He operates with a license two unmanned helicopters that he purchased for a combined price of more than 200,000 U.S. dollars. Not a small investment, but he says the drones are worth the price for the amount of time and effort they save his elderly parents. かかっていたところがヘリの仕事になりますと、まあ1日2日ぐらいで終わってしまうので。Now Yamaha hopes Americans and eventually Europeans will be able to fly its agricultural drones after it won regulatory approval to fly them in the U.S. to spray pesticides on vineyards. Soon, these blue and white Japanese drones could be buzzing around vineyards from California to Bordeaux. Helping to make the finest Pinot Noir. Kanai Nagaki, Financial Times, Tochigi.